Hey you guys, take a look at this. I'm using the MineLab Xterra Pro. This is my first day out with this machine. Um, I really like the way it feels. Um, anyway, I'm using 15 kilohertz right now. This is a single frequency machine, selectable. Uh, but anyway, I've dug up four pennies so far. Just been out here about 15 minutes, uh, 20 minutes maybe and guess what take a look at this i see something that's a little better than a penny let's see what this is oh look at that oh That's interesting. Um, it's a heart pendant, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's got an A in it. It's gonna, I don't know what that's, just an initial for somebody's name or something. I don't know, but I'll have to get that cleaned up and see how that's gonna look. I don't think it's anything precious, but that's pretty cool. All right. Let's see what else the Xterra Pro can do. Whoops. Fumble fingers here. Okay, so the Xterra Pro gave me another signal. I thought it was going to be a penny, but it's another piece of jewelry of some sort here, some sort of a pendant, half heart, or a broken heart. Um, anyway, that was right on the surface. I didn't even have to dig for it. I just had to pry it out of the ground with my fingers and here we go, second piece of jewelry. Asking about VDI numbers and stuff, so I got a target here, Xterra Pro, 7980. Pretty close to the surface. It's only, I'm gonna say, well, it's two to four inches deep. You see how that graph works to show where you're pinpointed? See, so yeah, watch how that graph comes together. Okay, right there I'm directly over the target. It's a solid bar, solid graph. So, okay, let's dig that and see what it is. Oh, it's some hard ground too, of course. VDI came up a little bit. And like I say, guys, I don't depend on the VDI all that much. I listen for tones. VDI is not gonna be accurate for you every time. Hmm. That is some hard ground. Okay, and I see it. So, we got ourselves a dime, it looks like. Um, it's laying right there. So. A clad dime. Okay, I just got a shallow signal. Xterra Pro. See something different here, not sure what we got. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I tell you what, there's a piece of it right there. This is my day for jewelry, and it's my day for hearts. This is a necklace, it looks like. Look at that. Hmm pretty fragile this chain is I'll probably have to soak this in some water or something to get that cleaned up but uh, there's the clasp well that's the third heart shaped piece of jewelry today okay so I got a 
good sounding signal here with a bouncy VDI. But I don't care about that VDI. I care about the tones. Let's pinpoint that. Okay, there it is. The bar graph came together. Let's dig it. I never depend on the VDI. It may tell me one thing, but be something else. So. Oh, I think I see it already down there in the hole. Um, let's take a look. I think that may be a hem weight. You see, he's right down here. That's exactly what that is. That's a hem weight. So, if I would have passed that up because it had just a bouncy VDI thinking that's garbage, I would have never had that hem weight. Don't depend on the VDI, you guys. Got to depend on those tones more so. And that's why. All right, you guys. I have, uh, right now, I'm extremely impressed. Extremely. Um, you can see how deep this hole is right here. Uh, I got a real trashy signal. It was just, just a blip. Uh, normally i probably wouldn't have even dug that but since i'm using the xterra pro i wanted to see you know I'm, I'm learning what this machine will do and this is how we test our machines you guys you got to dig these targets um i probably shouldn't pass up these targets even when i'm using a machine i'm very familiar with anyway i uh, i dug this down it was a deep target not only was it deep, it was small, and it came out. Take a look at this, you guys, and I'm not so sure. This this may be, I, I'm not even gonna say it. Can you see it? It's tiny, right here. That looks gold. It looks gold, and it looks old. It may not be gold, I don't know, we'll see. I don't. It's fragile though. I've got to be real careful with this. Oh, look at this. It keeps going around. I thought it was just a flat piece. Look at this. What is this? Whatever it is, it's fancy, you guys. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm gonna have to uh, get the water out, and I don't have much water. I'll have to go to the truck and get some in here, I think. But that definitely looks gold. It's bent. I'm pretty sure that's gold, you guys. Wow, I'm going to have to work at this to get it cleaned out. I don't even know what it is, but it's like in a cone shape. Let me get this cleaned up and I'll come back to you. All right, here we are. Um, I got it cleaned up fairly well. And I'm still thinking that's gold. Um, I don't know if that was an earring or what that was it's a little bit bent right there but that definitely looks gold so maybe gold plate I don't know but that's a very delicate piece of jewelry of some sort but I wish I knew what it was if you guys have an idea let me know I've never seen it I'm thinking it was probably an earring that kind of hung like this um, I don't know but anyway, that was a very faint, scratchy, garbage type signal. And that produced probably going to be the best find of the day. Dig those signals, you guys. 
MindLab X Terra Pro. That's only, uh, I believe it's uh, retail 269 or something like that. I don't, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's about what it is. But that is what just dug this piece of jewelry right here and three other pieces of jewelry today. So I'm, I'm really impressed with this machine. And you can see that was a deep target. Um, let me, so yeah, you're probably looking at about six inches right there. So I'm impressed. Let's keep hunting. Same color as my ring. Looks gold to me. So here's another example. Beautiful signal. The VDI is bouncing around. We're going to dig it. I might have missed it. Oh, it seems like it's off to the edge. I'll check it out with the pinpointer. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Well, where is it? Boy, did I miss it. I really missed it, you guys. <laughs> I was completely away from it. All right. Well, look at there. Another piece of jewelry. This is a uh, bracelet, a copper bracelet with... Uh, engraving of mountains and trees on it so all right the xterra pro is really uh really doing a good job today i'm really liking this machine let's keep hunting you guys brenda just came up and she found this uh she got the signal with the detector but it was pretty much a surface find. It's a St. Christopher Protectus. And that's sterling silver marked right there. Good find, Brenda. Whoops. Thank you. Now I get to find it. <laughs> awesome. Good deal. Grinning again. Look at this. Which one? This is your second yep, my natural second buffalo. Natural. Yep. Buffalo nickel, you guys. 1937. So we just decided to come to a different spot. It was and only about four, three, four inches. Nice. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. Congratulations. I made my day. All right. Let's keep hunting. See what else we come up with. A little different here. Got us an old button. Pretty decorative one too. I don't know if you can see that on here, but I'll have to get a picture of it. That's pretty decorative. So. All right, let's keep hunting. Okay, I got a signal that sounded like a dime. It was reading up around 80, but um, it's a wheat penny. So I'm not sure what the date is. Um, anyhow, I'll have to check it out later, I guess. Night, I see a four, it's 1940-something. So, anyhow, a wheat penny. Let's keep hunting.